XRP gets added to a crypto index while its volumes stay over $1 billion in daily volume despite the SEC continuing the case on into 2022. Samsung looks to plant 2 million trees using blockchain technology. We'll talk about what chain they're looking at using. And 2022 looks to be an even bigger year in crypto than 2021 per Yahoo Finance. We'll take a look. If we haven't met before, my name is Frank Cho. I'm here to help you live a richer life. And on this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency, personal finance, and investing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it now. That way I can keep you informed of all the latest news and updates. Don't forget to enter the 25,000 subscriber giveaway linked in the video description and hit a like if you find any value here in this video. Now let's take a quick look at the crypto market before we dive in. We are up slightly from yesterday, less than a percent at 2.25 trillion with Bitcoin a hair under 47,000. Ethereum at about 3,850, up about two and a half percent on the day. And XRP in that eight spot, as you see Luna and Dot round out the top 10. So no real change in the top 10 as far as positioning. Uh, we have seen in the past couple of weeks, uh, Luna, Dot, Avalanche, Doge, Shiba Inu shuffling around there in the bottom couple of spots. But other than that, we are holding fairly steady, but still down on the week for most cryptos as you move through the top 10. Now, XRP has been added to the first crypto index in India. This index tracks the performance of 15 cryptos. It's called the IC15. They are tracking Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink, Polkadot, Cardano, Litecoin, Avalanche, Binance Coin, Solana, XRP, Shiba Inu, Terra, Uniswap, and Dogecoin. Comment below if you think those are the 15 that you would choose or that would be best chosen to be in a crypto index. They've set a base date back to April 1st of 2018, and you can see the movement is significant since then to start the year here in January of 2022. The company behind this says that their index will capture 80% of market movement and hence it's a fundamental market tracking and assessing tool. One thing we've talked about on the channel numerous times is the value of having a crypto index. This is something I think will really help drive the market and having an index fund available to investors will open up a lot of avenues for money to flow in. There's a lot of institutional money. There's a lot of retirement money that just can't enter into the space readily because we don't have a product like that. So if we can see a crypto ETF, whether it's a Bitcoin spot ETF, an altcoin ETF, or here, as you can see, their ETF selection covers Bitcoin and several altcoins, that will really provide some more growth opportunity. And I think this is really exciting to see, though this is in India, not here in the U.S., this is a great start seeing a new fund or a new index launch. Now, XRP volumes are above a billion dollars despite the SEC lawsuit, and it continues on here into 2022. The XRP market saw daily trading volumes drop gradually through the end of the year, but they did stay above that billion dollar mark per coin market cap. Obviously, investors in the crypto space and the industry as a whole have been eyeing what will happen here uh, because it's going to have such a significant impact on how regulation plays out, what precedents will be set on the SEC side, and of course, on the crypto side as well. What happens with Ripple will help dictate what happens with other projects out there. 2022 was the year of the lawsuit. It has now happened in three different years, initiated in 20, uh, carried on all through 21, and now into 2022. And we, of course, are very familiar with the case details as Jay Clayton filed this complaint at the end of his tenure at the end of 2020. So both parties over the course of 2021 had different strategies. Of course, the Ripple team highly pursuing that fair notice defense that we still are waiting on a resolution on. And of course, they are focused on not being deemed a security. Lots of uh, inconsistencies in the SEC's communications over the years. And so lots of market participants are looking for guidance. Maybe we get some guidance out of the decision or settlement from this case. Now, Clarity is not one of the SEC's talents. Of course, in 2020, they filed and won a complaint against Telegram because of what they deemed to be an unregistered securities offering via an ICO. And then two years after the Hinman speech, 
that stated that ETH isn't a security, we still are hearing debate and argument and even Hinman himself saying that, oh, uh, well, this was just my opinion. So really interesting how that all played out in 2020 and, of course, in 2021. Three years after the case, he was deposed, or after his speech, he was deposed in the Ripple case and continued to maintain the position that it wasn't an SEC opinion yet. They try and mask it under that deliberative process privilege. So inconsistencies abound. But 2022 should see the case reach a conclusion whether through settlement or via a ruling in the court, likely to happen earlier in the year, in the first quarter, but there is the possibility it could drag on into Q2. Much more to come. Don't forget to subscribe so I can keep you up to date on more case details as they come out as we move through January, especially with some of the big dates ahead. Speaking of January here, just remember that during the third week of the month, I will be in Miami at the North American Bitcoin Conference, so we will be deviating from our normal format here. Obviously, I won't have access to the studio being away You'll see a lot of different content. Uh, I will be more active on Twitter and Instagram on that trip. You'll see some YouTube shorts pop up as I go through, and I'll try and do recap videos at the end of the day uh, from the hotel room. So lots happening. Make sure that you are subscribed so that I can update you on everything happening in there. Lots of conversation, not just Bitcoin. Uh, it This conference is more overall crypto themed uh, versus the April conference, which tends to be more for the Bitcoin maxis. Uh, there'll be talk on NFTs. David Schwartz of Ripple will be speaking. So I plan on talking about uh, how he's going to discuss interoperability. There's a lot of really cool topics to be discussed, and I hope to be able to share that with you. So do make sure to stay tuned. Now, Samsung introduced uh, in their announcement yesterday the option to buy and sell uh, NFTs via their smart TVs, displaying your NFTs, and they continue to be invested in blockchain advancements. They plan to plant 2 million trees with Veritree in order to offset CO2 emissions, and blockchain technology is going to enable the tracking of these trees that are planted. So this was part of an announcement made at CES uh, just yesterday, and they are going to be using the Cardano blockchain to be able to track this. So it's nice to see big companies making these kinds of sustainability actions, and it's even nicer to see that they are utilizing blockchain technology. Samsung is definitely making some big time moves in this space. Uh, I look forward to seeing the smart TVs that have this ability to display their uh, NFTs and to also make those purchases. So many good things ahead uh, in that space, but with Samsung in particular trying to take a leadership position. So more to come as the information becomes more available, but really exciting news to see. And then finally here, Yahoo Finance predicts that 2022 will be an even bigger year than 2021 for cryptocurrency. Bitcoin rocketed and plummeted. Coinbase went public. Dogecoin rose in popularity on the back of uh, Elon Musk and Mark Cuban making comments. Uh, we've seen a lot of really interesting things play out over the course of 2021. But in 2022, crypto will, crypto will be bigger and even more mainstream. According to a recent study, about 60% of the population is demonstrating interest in making crypto purchases in the future. The market, as we saw just now, is at $2.25 trillion and has grown exponentially over the past few years. And though that may seem small in relation to the total crypto market, crypto is growing at a rapid rate and outpacing other asset classes in its growth trajectory. Crypto has made huge strides and is set to continue to do so in 2022. For reference, in October, the first Bitcoin-linked ETF launched, offering exposure to the most widely traded crypto for any investor with a brokerage account. Crypto is also being used to purchase real estate, pay real estate agents in commission, underscoring how it's becoming part of our payment system and that crypto will be part of the future for consumers. So per this uh, article, crypto will gradually be integrated into our lives, similar to the way the internet has. We went from dial-up to broadband with the internet. With crypto, we're in the dial-up phase. And once we get to broadband, people will become more familiar and it will see more application in our everyday lives. And I am in total agreement with that statement. We will see this daily integration 
And that's why we talk about XRP so much on the channel here, because XRP facilitates those payments, not just the cross-border payments, but just payments and money transfer in general. And so with that opportunity and with the on-demand liquidity for businesses, it really provides a robust system. And the XRP ledger's efficiency helps make the opportunity truly great as we move further through 2022 and beyond. Right now, Crypto is still new and largely unregulated, but that's unchanging, she said. Congress is looking to adopt a new regulatory framework as the industry looks to offer more options for applying this technology. We're going to see crypto used more for payments, and people are going to be able to use their credit cards to pay in crypto, making it more mainstream as demand strengthens that will likely ease the volatility in the actual currencies. And we're seeing this play out right now. We talk about Voyager a lot, and they're linked in the video description again. Deposit $25 or deposit $100 in trade in crypto, and you'll get $25 in free Bitcoin. But with Voyager, their new debit card that is releasing very soon will allow you to use your USDC to make purchases. This is a big step. And with their loyalty program, you can earn cash back. So now you don't have to rely on your Chase uh, credit card. You don't have to rely on your US bank credit card because you have an option here that lets you spend with your crypto and earn cash back with your crypto. It's a really exciting time. And so many of these developments will continue on as we move through the year. We're only scratching the surface and the year's only just begun. A lot will happen this year and it's a very exciting time. This is going to be embraced by lots of people and this asset class gives people an opportunity to invest in something that's not just stocks and bonds. And though it can be volatile, there's a lot of upside. And so we look forward to seeing more and more of that to come. I'll link this article in the video description because I think it is really uh, worth your time to read. There's a little bit more just talking about meme coins and some of the other aspects of the crypto market. But I think we hit on the key things that are going to be the most impactful. And the year ahead is going to be so exciting. I am eager to share with you some of the big developments here for the channel over the next week or two here i have some big announcements uh, a project that i think is truly world changing that we'll be talking about more on the channel and a big announcement personally that i think will be really exciting and i hope that you come along the journey here with me as well i do thank you for spending some time with me don't forget to hit a like if you found any value here in this video and enter that 25,000 subscriber giveaway in the video description and don't forget hit that subscribe button lots of good things coming in the weeks and months ahead here on the channel and i'm excited to share it with you again thank you so much for spending some of your time here with me i do truly appreciate it i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you in the next one